Good morning, Bournemouth fans. AFC Bournemouth versus Watford today. Huge game in the Premier League, and I'm running late as ever, rushing to get to Parkstone Railway Station by 9:36. It's now 9:32. Should be okay, but yeah, big big game today. Dressed relatively smartly today. That's what 900 subscribers gets you, lads. Uh, only kidding. Um, it was uh, very fortunate actually to get a ticket today. For this so uh, thank you to James Rude for sorting it and uh, yeah looking forward to meeting him he's getting off the train from Totten a few beers nice food and hopefully three points let's do this Yeah, so I've had a bit of a disaster. Um, the train that I'm on uh, didn't stop at Pokestown. Um, I misread the uh, the timetable and I had to get off at Bournemouth, which I didn't do. So now I'm going to New Milton, which is great. You know, that's uh, really handy considering I need to be there soon. Oh well. Oh, so I managed to get on the train, met Keith and James on board, and now we're at Bournemouth, so time to go to the cricketers, if it's open. Has anyone seen you cheating so far? Because that comes with press ups and full shots. Right, here we go. Press up. Fifth <laughs> Tails. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Wow. Right, who goes six feet? It's heads. Hey, go for that. What are we down to? What are we down to? How many have we got? It's heads. Oh, I'm lucky. Great to see you though. Have a lovely, lovely day. <laughs> right, here we go. A couple of Bournemouth fans. Can't lose. Here we go. Heads and tails. Here we go. The winner is... Tails. Round of applause. Thank you very much. That's good news, sir. Right, first thing, Rambo. Um, massive disappointment to see you stood next to me. Uh, what's happened um, that stops you playing today? Um, I've tweaked some scar tissue and my hamstring yesterday in training, so um, there's a little tear in a previous injury I had, which I didn't know about. Um, so, and obviously with your performance in the Premier League, you go away with England. What 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 uh, age group are you playing with England now? Twenty one. Twenty one. How's that going for you? It must be great to go away and play with other Premier League players. Looking few, looking into the future, looking at that England number one jersey. Yeah, we. Um, I'd say our team probably is made up of 70% of Premier League players at the moment. Um. So the teams have just been announced. 
so uh, we got uh, Travers in goal today instead of Ramsdale. Uh, Rico's out, but we got uh, Ake and Smith back in. Midfield of Harry Wilson. Um, in the middle, we've got uh, Dan Gosling and Jefferson Lerma. Fraser on the other side and Solanke and Wilson up front. Should be an interesting one. from the back Mark Travers got caught in an awful situation they gave it straight to Watford they capitalised 1-0 even not an ideal time to concede probably about the right the right scoreline based on how it's been going but bloody hell we make it difficult for ourselves, eh? This 45 minutes is massive. Half time, 1-0 uh, to Watford. Here with James. James, eating your cream tea, mate. How are you, how are you enjoying it? Not oh, long. <laughs> and your glass of wine. Uh, it's been a shocker so far. Um, yeah, that goal that we conceded, not great. Um, it helps with the wine. So you know, that's all good. But um, yeah, at the moment, uh, we just can't string two passes together. Uh, second to every 50-50, massive 45 minutes ahead. Prediction? One little Watford. Probably. Come on, come on you Reds. Okay, he's struggling, look at him. He's absolutely struggling. It's the quickest, isn't it? Fucking shocker. Fucking hell, mate. 
can't even get up. Come on, bro. Oh, oh, no pressure. Three nil, three nil, three nil. <laughs> Only so it two nil. <laughs> we were sat together, and uh, yeah, it was three. Not sure who added the third. Uh, <laughs> mate, I was, you know, we were obviously you know commentating to each other during the game. It was poor, poor today. Man. It was shocking. Yes, there was lack of ambition, lack of pace, lack of movement, lack of everything. Really, I couldn't. I can't see a way out. There's no point in being pessimistic. There's no point in being negative anywhere, whether it be in the stands or in the changing room. You know, is, is that the gaffer's message? Just keep your heads up, keep working hard, keep doing the right things, and the right things will happen. 100%. Um, I know it's cliche, but next week there's a game again. Um, everyone is frustrated, everyone is angry. Um, the players, the fans, everyone will be, but this is this is a test for us, I think. Can we go out of it or not? Are we going to work hard or not? I think yes, it's a big test. Um, and yeah, and I think as a team, we... We have to surpass that and we have to try try to win the game. I think it's cliche, but we have to go again. Well, like I said, it's great to see you back on the pitch. Please be hands here for Michael Matthews, Shrew, and Alan Max, Nathan Ackin. So I'm just outside Chaos Corner on Ashley Road. Um, as you can see, I've done some interviews after the game. Went up to hospitality to uh, chat a bit more. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not good at the moment being a Bournemouth fan. Um, there's a lot to consider that's really not for this vlog. But if you want to subscribe to the podcast or at least uh, check out the next podcast video that we're going to put on, we might dissect it with a little bit more decorum and what I could come out with now because I'm not feeling too good about things. Final score was 3-0, I didn't even see the third goal, that's how bad it was. I left it 2-0. Shocking state of affairs. Other cherries. <sighs> so I'm back home and I'm in my football kit now because I'm actually getting picked up to play six aside football at Broadstone at 8 pm uh, with Andre and Co. You've probably seen on a recent vlog. Um, oh, mate, I've had so much alcohol, it's scary. Uh, but you play better. Um, <clears throat> reading a lot of Twitter. I'm not going on the forums on Facebook and stuff because you know the kind of shit you're going to get on there. Um, chatting to fans after the game, wow. Um, the faith in management is eroding by the day. Uh, Eddie, apparently in a post-match interview, said he's going to reflect on his own position, which is like, okay. Um, yeah, uh, five-word match reports don't make good reading. That video is going to come out very soon. Um, it's just... Shocking, really. The the levels of performance from the players are nothing like you would expect. They are not in the trenches. It's like they're playing for their own individual club football desires. You know, who's going to be looking at me? Uh, it's like, almost like they've got an eye on someone else. But the thing is... <laughs> If you're playing like that, who's going to want you? I mean, Ryan Fraser, we were all worried about him going. Wouldn't wouldn't be bothered. Wouldn't wouldn't even bat an eyelid. Great player and managed to do some amazing things for us. But I'm sorry, but um, and he was one of the brightest sparks today. There were others. Callum Wilson, um, Jeff Lerma was carrying an injury. Nathan Ake wasn't himself, but he was carrying an injury too. Frano. There are so many. I mean, this phasing of the. Um, new players in at the end of the day it's happened relatively quickly um it should have been over three or four seasons but it basically happened this season when you look at players we've got in the middle of the park like usually like philip billing um 
we've got, uh, you know, Dan Juma that came in, Harry Wilson. There are some matches where all they, you know, all of them start in the midfield. Stacey, Rico, they're expected to gel like so, so quickly. And it, and it hasn't happened. Um, it's not good being a Bournemouth fan at the moment, but I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Um, don't usually do hospitality, so I felt very lardy da. Um, however, lovely experience. Thank you to um, James and to Keith. Uh, really nice to see you guys, and yeah, um, hopefully better times will be ahead. Um, we'll be slumming it up in the North Stand next time, but that's how I like it best anyway. Um, see you later. Oscar! 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 Oscar!